As you probably know by now, Issue 3, the effort to legalize marijuana in Ohio, was soundly defeated by Ohio voters on Election Day in November. But we wanted to take a closer look at the vote to see if we could identify any trends. The first map you're looking at is the state of Ohio, of course. And what it shows is that it really didn't come close to passing any one county out of the 88 counties in Ohio. Where it did get the most support, it still only got about 42% of the vote. That was in Jefferson County, which includes Steubenville in eastern Ohio, and three counties around the Cincinnati area, uh, including Hamilton County in southwest Ohio. It was most strongly opposed in Paulding County, a northwest Ohio county, a farm country. It's noted as being one of the most Republican counties in the state, at least in terms of how the vote turned out in the Romney versus Obama election. But taking a look at Cuyahoga County, we do notice some trends that came up. First off, we see the area marked in green. Those areas, the vote actually passed at a city level. It passed in Cleveland with better than 52% of the vote, and it passed in East Cleveland and a handful of villages in the county. But the areas marked in dark red were most strongly opposed to the um, marijuana issue on the ballot, and that's pretty much the surrounding areas of Cuyahoga County on the, uh, the further away you got from Cleveland itself. Now taking a look inside the city of Cleveland, we see that there were areas in Cleveland that did oppose issue three. Those areas are marked in red, and the areas in green are areas of Cleveland that passed issue three. It was most strongly supported with better than 80% of the vote in a couple precincts just east of Cuyahoga County Community College down near downtown. And it was most strongly opposed in a couple uh, precincts in the northwest portion of uh, the city. And it was uh, opposed for the most part in areas of the city that, that were near Lake, Lake Erie on the west side, as well as good portions uh, on both sides of Rocky River Drive on the west side of Cleveland. Reporting for the Cleveland.com, this is Rich Exner.